Hey there YouTube, this is Minty Josh 19 and welcome back to my channel. So in today's Red Dead Online video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Arthur Morgan's, John Marston's, Javier Escuela's, and Bill Williamson's outfits, along with Dutch Vanderlyn's, which I think I made a video of Dutch's outfit probably about a year ago, but I'm going to include it in this video. So as you can see right now, I'm currently wearing John Marston's outfit. I know my character looks pretty sad. I'm not sure why. Now, in order to get these outfits, the first thing you need to do is you need to hunt down Madame Nazar. Currently, because today's the 6th, she's currently up just north of Ansburg. In between the A and the N up here. Now, when you go there, you just go up to her and you press bot, press bot to buy option pretty much. And you go over to clothing. And there you will see four outfits. The Haraway, which is Arthur Morgan's outfit. This one consists of black pants tucked into black leather boots with spurs. No gloves. Wearing a blue striped, I guess, flannel shirt with suspenders. A black bandana and of course Arthur's um, hat that he wears in the story mode. Now keep in mind my character is female, not male, so keep in mind. The next up is the Celeland. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is John Marston's outfit. You can see this. What you can see him wearing this outfit in Red Dead Redemption and I think later Red Dead Redemption Two. It consists of um, John's hat that he wears, black striped pants that have a patch over the right knee that are going over his boots, black leather gloves, a white shirt that just like Arthur's is rolled up to just below your elbows, and a what looks like a blue or gray um, vest over the shirt. And then we have the, the dead ham, dead ham something like that this is Bill Williamson's outfit it consists of a brown trench coat over a black and white checkered flannel shirt Bill's signature hat uh, a pair of brown or gray pants that have a patch a big patch on the right leg and have been sewn together on the left leg going over black boots with um, brown leather spurs I'm not even going to try and say this last one here. But this is Javier Squales outfit. Which consists of black pants. With a green. Camo green vest. A blue jacket with a bandolier. A green scarf and his poncho. And his bowler hat. Now these outfits. These outfits are only available. At Madame Nazar's. Um, they each cost a certain amount of gold. I know Javier Escuelas cost 48 gold, so it's pretty pricey. Bill's, I think, cost 40. John's, I think, cost 40 as well. And then Arthur's, I think, was like 50 or something. You can buy them with money, but Bill's or Javier's was like $1,200. Obviously, I didn't, want, I didn't have that, so I just spent gold on them. Um, but like I said, they can only be purchased at Madame Nazar's, and you can recognize her by her icon, which looks like a like a bullseye or a wagon wheel or something like that. Um, now to get, I don't want social club. Now to get. Um, Dutch Vanderlyn's outfit. I think that was only available in one of the outlaw passes. I want to say. I can figure out which one it was. 
But I'm pretty sure it was only available in one of the outlaw passes. Um. No, it's not that one. So you used to be able to, to look and see where the outlaw pass was. Currently, I'm not seeing that. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, so this is just a Halloween pass. That one's been out for a while. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was only available. I think it was Dutch Vanderlands was only available through an outlaw pass. I could be wrong about that though, but I'm pretty sure it was only available through an outlaw pass. Currently, I can't find it so instead I'm just going to show you what his outfit looks like um, I'm just gonna ride back to my to and to Ansberg real quick and then go back to my camp it's not that far a ride it's right here it's fast travel In my opinion, though, John, if you were to pick an outfit to wear daily, I would choose John Marston's. Just because it looks like your typical um, old Wild West outfit. Javier's. It doesn't really look like it's from the Wild West. Bill's is just plain ugly. Um, Arthur's looks okay. It'd probably be my second favorite. And then Dutch's. Dutch's outfit just looks like he's like a rich person. When in theory he was a rich person in the game. Until he gave all of his money to John. I'm not even anywhere near where I want to be. Um, and yeah. So once I get back to my camp I will show you where, what Dutch's outfit is. Of course I did. I will show you what Dutch's outfit looks like. Uh, I've always disliked Antwerp because it's it's literally made into the hills and cliff sides, so it's always a pain to get down. There we go. <sighs> Getting tired. Okay, we're gonna go to camp, which is two dollars away. Okay, so here we are. We're back at my camp in the middle of nowhere. Let's find the tent. There it is. Uh, okay, so here we are. So, roll outfits, I believe. No. Outfits. Okay, so Dutch's outfit is called the Red Cliff. And it's a, it's a sophisticated outfit, well tailored and flattering. This is suitable for hot temperatures. It consists of fancy black, net black striped pants over black boots with spurs on them. A black tailored jacket over a black shirt or I mean black vest with gold buttons and gold chains and what appears to be a gem over a white shirt and with Dutch's black 
fancy hat. So it's it's more like a 1890s tuxedo, pretty much, something like that. Um, we also have this outfit that I forgot all about. This is also one that Arthur wears in story mode when he's up in Coulter. The Mormont. It's like his winter outfit, which consists of black pants, tucked inside boots with spurs, his hat, some gloves, and a thick blue coat with brown, um, they're not buttons, I forget what they are, and a brown fur collar. And yeah, so I have all these different outfits. So Arthur's, John's. Bills, Javier's. That one's just down for the bot. This one you can buy in store mode. This is the one I have for Arthur as well. The Grizzlies Outlaw. Um, Arthur's Mormon. And Dutch Vanderlyn's outfit. So those are currently all the outfits you can get. I wouldn't mind seeing Sadie, Ad Sadie Adler's outfit. Or... Um... The other one, like, um, I think his name is Yosef, or even Strauss's outfits. I wouldn't mind seeing those put in Red Dead, but I doubt it's gonna happen. So, that's how you get these outfits one is through the Outlaw Pass, the Grizzlies outfit, Grizzlies Outlaw can be purchased at a clothing shop. The other ones you have to purchase using gold or large amounts of money through Madame Nazar, but I think they're worth it. Um, if not, then, you know, oh, actually seeing the garment sets with me, it's my mind's back. I have to go get the chalk white and gray ram garment. I just realized that. But yeah, so that's how you get the outfits from story mode in Red Dead Online. Um, I just found this out last night and I thought it was cool. So in case you didn't know that, there you go. So that's it for this video. Hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to leave a comment about what you think of the video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch as well as Instagram at MintyJosh19. Y'all have a good week. And I'll see you on Friday. And just remember, one last thing before I get off. If you have the Digital Deluxe Edition for Hogwarts Legacy, we get it tomorrow on the 7th. If you don't have it, you for the new that's for the series s or x and the ps5 um if you didn't uh, get it yet it comes out on february friday february 10th uh for those of you who are getting an old gen or last gen the xbox one and the ps4 you will have to wait till april 4th and obviously switch i feel bad for you guys you guys have to wait till um like July, June or July or something like that to get it. So that's it. Smash that thumbs up button. Follow me on Twitch and Instagram, MintyJosh19. And I'll see you all later.